What's up everybody? HTG Brian here back with another Lego Batman video. This is level 22, stealing the show story. This level is going to look quite familiar as we've already kind of traversed through most of this as the hero side, like most of the other levels. Uh, but this was a little different spin on it. This is the story, so no mini kits or red brick in this. In fact, we fall short of that villain stud requirement as well. But hey, that's how it goes. It's a collectible. We'll get that in the free play, which is not too far away. Here we are again at the beginning of Arkham Asylum. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you kill the game or turn it off and return, it actually dumps you into the Bat Cave, which makes you have to run all the way through, and then you have to switch over to Arkham. And every time I do this, I actually run and grab these studs, which has actually put me over a million studs, as you can see. So that's pretty nice. We finally got our Milski. Go ahead and jump into the sub, which is the middle episode here, and stealing the show story is what we're after. So hopefully you guys are ready. After a quick info piece here about Catwoman and what's going down, we'll jump into a cutscene and we'll see you on the other side. As soon as we start, we've got this nice fan man that can go ahead and lift us up top. Go ahead and double jump or use the handheld to get up on this nice ledge and build up the first part of a grapple point. We're actually going to go ahead and glide across and don't be uh, too alarmed by that glitchy screen here. It's, uh, for some reason, my recorder does this every once in a while. And I, as far as I know, that's the only time in the video it does that. So go on to glide across, go ahead and build up the bricks, which will allow old Catwoman to join us. And then we'll drop down with the penguin and glide across to switch this lever off, which will give access to Catwoman to get across now too, which she's going to come in handy in a hot second as we're going to need her nice little charming abilities to go ahead and swoon this poor innocent fellow here into opening this door. <laughs> you can see there he has fallen in love with us and Booyaka Shao, we're hiding behind the door, but he opens it up for us, and ta -ta -ta -ta, we've got some baddies to a ready. So we'll go ahead and take those guys down, use the nice double jump feature to get up top, and up here we got some more bad guys, so go ahead and take those guys down. Once they are all free and clear, take out the debris in the front left side, and we'll go ahead, ooh, multiplier, we'll take it. Build up the bricks left behind, and we'll push those along the old checkerboard pathway here, which will drop down and smash, giving us some bricks to allow old Penguin to join us up top. That's right. These fans are pretty handy. <laughs> see, see what I did there? My bad. All right. Dad jokes for the win sometimes, usually for the loss. As long, unless you're the dad, it, it's always a win. All right, up top, we'll go ahead and deploy one of our penguin bomb, 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 bombs, which will destroy those silver bricks in the back corner here and allow us to build up those bouncing bricks into an elevator. Going up, no music here. We actually just get up to the rooftop where it cues a mini cutscene indicating that we've got a little battle royale with a helicopter. We actually uh, got a nice trick for you. You can go ahead and stand on the front right side and it's going to open up a vent blowing stuff back up. It targets that blue smoke and it actually drops a bomb on it but blows it back up too, hurting that helicopter. Now we'll go ahead and continue to stand on that right side until he drops the blue smoke and then we run because we don't want to eat that bomb that he drops and then we'll repeat it on the left where we stand on it. It opens up, he drops that smoke down, and Booyaka Shao, and again, one last time on the right. You gotta fake him out, though. Don't forget to fake him out. That's what's, uh, I don't know, I found that easy. Maybe there's even a simpler way, but that's how we found success. We'll go ahead, and once the meter is depleted, he'll drop down and give us the bricks needed to go ahead and build up a ladder. But we got some baddies to a ready first. That's right, some old coppers trying to stop us. Or some SWAT, I think not. That's a new one. You guys notice they're wearing SWAT outfits? That's right. Oh, SWAT, I think not. I, I think that'll be a new coin phrase. So be looking for that in future moments or videos, for that matter. 
All right, there is a mini kit up behind that nice glass case. You can see it kind of glowing on that left side there, but we're going to skip it for now. As you guys know, we'll be getting all of those collectibles in our free play videos as we return shortly. We got to finish all the story, though. We got to get all those characters that are needed, and then we'll figure out any other preparations based on our guide written by Adam. Big shout out to Adam. And of course, hey, I, I, it's been a minute since I've recognized this, but again, shout out to our very own HTG Tude and his boy Harrison for sending the copy of Lego Batman out to us as I plummet to my doom. All right, yeah, there was a shout out there as a distraction, so you guys would not pay attention to that, but I, I kind of failed as I acknowledged it myself. I find that using Penguin to glide across is really easy, and then once Catwoman follows you and is hanging on that handheld, switch to her and then double jump up top, take out those baddies, and build up all the bricks left behind from the stuff we smash up on that front left corner. Go ahead and use that push switch to bring our other foe up to the top, though. And then we'll go ahead and use, well, I guess we don't really need him. Either or can drop down this ladder, smash in the glass and the wall here. I guess it's more of like a window. A budget window, we'll call it. And go ahead and flip that switch behind it, and that should make the fan blow up, which will allow us to ride up to the tippy top. And again, SWAT? I think not. We'll go ahead and take them all down. And once the area is clear, go ahead and flip both of these levers, and it's going to actually drop that checkerboard pathway down. And look at that. We can push this. I guess it's some sort of a... It's not a goblin. It's more of a... Gargoyle. There we go. I had a little bit of a brain fart or brain fart for most of you guys. I, we just refer to those as brain farts around here. Although those could be, the, that could lead to something else too. We, we won't go into that one though. All right, uh, go ahead and use Catwoman's double jump to get up on that handheld and get over the first laser on the right. Smash the box that is powering the laser, which will then give access to old Penguin. And now we'll make our way all the way to the end here. And I guess it's not to the end. It's to the middle. We got this wall in the back. We need to deploy one of our special little penguin bombs through. It'll smash that silver box in the back, opening the door, allowing us access to this switch. Flip it down. And it should remove the lasers to this Jurassic, uh, I guess, homage. We hadn't even seen Jurassic World at the creation of this game, so that was just literally some sort of museum reference. And if you look around, we're definitely in, uh, you know, some sort of a museum esque area. We'll go ahead and make our way into this new spot and hop on the left dino and try to bounce out of here. You know, we thought maybe a little quick fast would get us out, but no such luck. We'll go ahead and take these guys down and then hop back on and out we go. Booyaka show! All the way at the far right side, there's going to be a barrier of boxes. Luckily for us, this guy will plow right on through it. And it leaves a bunch of studs behind as well. So make sure to collect those before bouncing out to the far end. And then we can yeet ourselves off or double jump up to these handhelds. Make your way up and over to the stairway and up the stairs we go. More bad guys or, you know, I guess these are more like security guards in orange. So we're not really Kappas, not really SWAT. Uh, hmm, what do we got here? Not a whole lot of things rhyme with orange or so I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother debate. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and get to the laser walls here. And just to the right side of it, there's going to be a little alcove. Smash the box or whatever item was inside there and build up a push switch, which will allow us to move this down the conveyor belt here. Uh, once we get to that first laser, let the AI run through it. He should go stand on the switch there thus giving us access through the first spot. We can run through the second one thanks to the blockage as we push that all the way to the end. We'll need Catwoman's double jump to get over the top so we can smash this generator, allowing us to toggle back on over to our penguin friend. And look at that, we've got a nice little cut scene and this is really one of the last little spots here. We gotta get all the way to the left side and up on that upper balcony because there's two switches we need to flip. There's also some pieces of a ladder hiding out that will help get our buddy up top. So double jump with Catwoman up onto that ladder. It's kind of a funny angle, but luckily I nailed it. Go ahead and build the bricks left behind from smashing that first frame on the wall there. And then go ahead and switch to Pangan and jump right up there. And, well, I missed the ladder. <laughs> Don't forget to get those bluesies if you get knocked over. All right. Swat! Ha <laughs> ha! I think not. We'll go ahead and let Catwoman take out that final guy. Up we go. Smash the next frame, which should reveal a secret cubby. 
And inside there, we'll flip the first switch, which will lift up the first bouncy wall. We're gonna actually deploy one of our penguins and ricochet him off a couple walls. And he should go and bounce off that silver spot in the back. And that should cue the final cutscene, which you know the drill there. We'll go ahead and let you view that. And hopefully there's no uh, audio that's copyrighted, but we won't know until we deploy it to YouTube. So by the time you see this, there may be some, uh, you know, overview or something that says, oh, hey, sorry, audio removed, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So, all right, we deployed the penguin or the bomb and booyah kashow. Swat. <laughs> One last time, I think. Nah. I love that they're all oohed and odd and even gave a little applause. That was kind of funny, huh? It's like, I guess it was pretty amazing. But look at that level. Co -co -co Complete free play on. Lock, lock, lock. And we are officially moving on with a new character. We got Catwoman added to the mix. Sweet deal. We still got a lot of question marks there, though. So hopefully we'll start unlocking some of them soon. I know that uh, we'll, we'll get there eventually. We're looking for that 100% so we can all be happy and pat ourselves on the back and feel good about completing yet another LEGO game. Uh, with the help of us, I guess. <laughs> all right. So we officially got a million studs. I don't know what our next, next milestone should be, but feeling pretty good about our overall collectage. And uh, look at that. We are officially done with this level. So level 22, stealing the show story, is officially done. We'll go ahead and advise you to check us out on social media. If you have not already, head on over to happythumbsgaming.com. That's the home of the Happy Thumbs Namer Wall of Fame. If you don't know what that is, check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it for now. As always, until next time, see ya.